The journey to higher education can be wrought with pitfalls from not knowing what to major in to not being sure how to pay the rising costs of tuition, room, and board. Today we're being joined by Sarah Ramirez, the program director with Lutheran Social Services. She's here today with a few tips to help the college kids and their parents out there prepare for a successful financial future. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. When it comes to going to college, would you say that a lot of students maybe don't even have a checking account of their own setup? You know, we're surprised at how many people don't have their finances or kind of their, their tools set up before they, before they go to school and just getting those in place. And why is that maybe alarming? They need a way to manage their money other than cash or credit cards. They need a way to know what's coming in, what's going out, and, and need some experience with those tools as well. I know for the college that I went to, they set up a free checking account for any student that wanted one. It was through um, a bank that they had right there too, like in our student, student centennial union is what it was called. And so that was helpful to have it, but the amount of people that didn't have one, I was shocked by. And then the understanding of like a savings account and all of that. So is that something that parents should be having that conversation with their kids you, about? We really should. And the savings account can start, you know, at a very young age, um, doing chores and giving them a couple of dollars to help them understand where that goes. And then when you feel they're responsible enough to handle that checking account, kind of walking them through what does that look like and that the money on the card actually comes out of the bank. It doesn't just come from that machine. Right, exactly. Well, let's get into some different tips now. So tips for college students to be financially successful. Yeah, so there's a couple. The first one is you have to create a budget. You've got to have a plan. Um, so lay out what do you think your expenses will be. Um, and then once you lay out that plan, we've got to track your spending. Um, so we need a way to find out you laid out your plan and are you sticking with that plan. Um, in that um, spending, you want to make sure that your money's actually going where your priorities are. Um, so it can be easy to kind of spend as you go, but it's, it's good to make sure that it's actually going where you want it to. Um, and then use credit wisely. So there's loans and then credit cards, and it's not a bad time in college to start building your credit, but you wanna make sure you can do that in a way that's responsible. One of my biggest tips is to take your credit card, use it for gas, and then pay it off each month. And don't use it for anything else because you, gas isn't really an impulse purchase. You can't really overspend it's on a need. gas. <laughs> your tank only takes so much. So it's an easy way to get through that. Um, some other tips um, is just to protect yourself and your information. So don't leave your cash laying around. No, you know, what do you, who, who do you have for roommates and is your information secure? Um, there's a lot, typically a lot of people around the dorms and just making sure your information is safe is important. And then what about entertaining on a budget? Yeah, so there's a lot of colleges have a lot of free activities around campus. So just thinking through as you're as you're picking your entertainment options, what is what are those things that that make sense with your budget? Um, not to say you can't spend money, but just making sure it's in a way that that fits within your finances. I want to go back to that point about using credit wisely as well, because like you said, it's good to build up your credit and have that, and maybe use it for gas, pay it off, but. Why is it important to understand that when you're paying off a credit card, if you're not paying off the statement balance, you are going to be paying interest. And I feel like some people might not understand that if they've never had a credit card. Yeah, so what happens is any balance you don't pay when you get your statement starts accruing interest. Um, we all know in our current market, interest rates are rising, so you'll pay a significant amount so that $1.50 coffee at the gas station might end up costing you quite a bit more than, than the $1.50. And for all college students, I feel like it's probably different when it comes to finances. Um, some friends of mine when I was in college had parents who were paying for everything. Some had to work jobs in college and pay for things on their own. So when it comes to planning a budget, how do you navigate or teach or maybe help your kid learn how to even do that if they never had to? Yeah, so it starts with figuring out what their income source is. Is it, are they working a part-time job? Is mom and dad helping them? And maybe mom and dad give them X amount per month that they're needing to budget throughout the month. And then thinking through what expenses, you know, you're, obviously you've got your food, your basics. Um, is your housing paid for on campus or are you paying rent? Um, kind of those, start with those basic expenses. Um, and then you can get into some of the more discretionary, your entertainment, some of that. And then along the lines too of, you know, interest, if you're having a credit card, using it wisely. But when it comes to student loans, it's one thing to have these student loans, but as a student, understanding, especially if it's going to be you paying it off, if it's not your parents helping you. But why is it important to understand that 
yes, you're taking out a loan for this much because you're covering your tuition, but over time, you're going to be paying more than just how much that tuition was. You're exactly right. Um, it's important to understand that it, is, that it is a loan and to use that, use those funds wisely. Um, they will give you limits. The federal government will give you limits for how much you can take out, um, but you don't have to take out the maximum. So think through, are you just taking it out for tuition or are you taking it out for room and board as well? And then if you are using it for room and board, kind of making sure that it is just your rent and it's not your entertainment expenses that, are, that you're paying interest on with that loan. When it comes to good financial habits too, why is it important to maybe start this earlier in the high school process rather than right before they're gonna be going to college? There's a lot of transitions with college and if they can have a little bit of confidence in their finances as they go into it, it'll help them. Um, obviously, the more experience you get with it, um, we always make mistakes along the way as we're learning, so the more experience you get with it, the better off they'll be once they get to college too. So speaking of mistakes, we just had some tips up on the screen and one was let them make the financial mistake. Yeah, so it's a lot easier for them to make a mistake when they're in high school and maybe you have them pay their cell phone bill and they didn't pay it one month and now they're paying a late fee. That's let them make that mistake um, because it'll help them as they get older and help them avoid larger mistakes. It's, it's better for them to be able to make mistakes when it's, when it's a lower dollar amount than when you get a credit card or student loan and, and now those mistakes are, are multiplied. And then you learn, you know, you have to pay your bills on time, you know, set reminders, there's automatic payments, things like that, because otherwise you're paying more in the long run. Exactly. And exactly. until you go through that, you might not even realize that that's a thing. Yeah. Or exactly. make it a priority. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so, so much, Sarah, for coming in today and sharing this advice with us so that kids can get prepared. Yeah. Thank you very much for having me.